Hey, I'm John. Welcome to Mr. G's Workbench. And uh, we had mail call today. I got a package in the mail. And if you're a frequent viewer of my channel, then you know I don't do a lot of open box reviews. But I've been waiting for this to come. It's a new kit. What's in the box? At least new to me. Uh, I think it's a relatively new kit overall. Uh, and I figured we'd take a look at it. I wanted it to be a surprise. What's in the fucking box? So uh, I'm going to open this package up on camera and we'll all uh, see what it is at the same time. But before we get started, a quick uh, shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel as you do. And thank you to everyone who's subscribed for uh, supporting in that manner. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, why not? Uh, I'm a nice guy and uh, I try to build a, a good selection of models. So uh, be sure to, to subscribe and hit the bell and be notified every time I put out a new video, all right? Uh, so with that being said, let's jump into the package. So the astute among you might have noticed this package came from uh, Ukraine. And it's a, it's a kit of a subject I've long wanted to build. And the only other kit I know of was a tester's kit of the same manner. Uh, my buddy Boyd got the same kit the other day. And it seemed like uh, kind of a weird way to package it, but I guess it's saved on shipping. So you can see it's the uh, HH43 Husky from AMP Models. And I've been waiting for this. I've, I've loved this helicopter since I was a kid. I remember looking at an issue with National Geographic that had a chart with every U.S. Air Force aircraft in service at the time. And uh, that one just stood out. So, it looks fairly well packaged. It was in a bubble envelope, so they've super bubbled it. And it's in a plastic bag, so let's get rid of that. So let's take a look at all the stuff we get in the box. We've got these clear parts. I'm not going to remove the clear parts from the bag because I'm afraid I won't be able to get them back in. But they look uh, pretty free from distortion. Uh, the riveting and uh, other stuff is molded in well. They look good. They got from Ukraine to Texas in one piece. So kudos to, to the guys at Plastic Model Store for that. And they look good. Next frame of parts. It looks to be the, uh, I believe these are going to turn out to be the instrument panel combings. I believe the uh, pedals are here. And uh, a bunch of smaller stuff. Hey, it all looks very delicate. And I can only hope I can get this stuff off of the... Uh, frame without destroying it like you can see here this this is really thin and well molded and just has these points holding it on to the frame so when we go to build it we'll find out how it does but looks good next frame has the fuselage sides I believe that's going to turn out to be the uh, underbody and the other parts of the tail boom and the riveting here is it's recessed and the molding itself is is clean it looks good and then you can see on the inside and they've molded the uh, framing uh, you know, in in this size, I mean, you can see how big it is relative to my hand. The the detail looks good so far. Good. Here's the next frame. We've we've got, I believe, this is going to be the the tail. We've also got the uh, seats for inside the cabin. We've got the rudders, or whatever they're called, on a helicopter. Again, the the riveting is there. It's 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 well done. It's sublime. 
The plastic feels, it's got this kind of soapy look to it, but it feels clean. There's no, you know, it's not oily. It, it doesn't have any kind of residue on it. It feels okay. It's just the, the plastic itself has kind of a soapy look to it. So now we've got two of the next uh, frame. Each of these frames has two, uh, two blades for the rotors. These are probably, I'm guessing, the pilot seats for the cockpit. Then you also get the wheels. And looks like <clears throat> some grab handles and some other smaller stuff. Again, it all looks well molded. And I'm guessing that this, this bend in the blades is intentional because it doesn't look like it's warped or anything. Looks like it's molded that way. So, again, no complaints here. See if I can get a little closer with this. This frame contains the cabin floor, and I'm guessing that's going to be the the roof of the interior. You got a bulkhead here, and whatever this other stuff is, we'll find out. Again, the, the molding is, is terrific. The, like I said, the riveting isn't overdone. It's sublime. And looks like it, it looks like a nice clean kit so far. So there's that. Then we've got... This is the last large frame of uh, parts. You've got the exhaust here the uh, rotor housings that's probably going to be the top of the fuselage and I'm assuming this is going to be the instrument panel console again everything looks good no uh, nothing mushy nothing softly molded everything looks crisp so I'm pretty happy with that then we've got this one small frame of parts and this is the other two it's probably the other two uh, landing gear skids and some small parts here's the decals looks like they were printed in uh, Ukraine you've got the uh, US Air Force stuff nice and clean nice and crisp and then I believe the reason there's two different uh, typefaces to this Air Force is because one of them is for a museum helicopter in Olympia, Washington. That's why it also has the um, registrations for a, a private aircraft. And then you've got, I believe that was the, that's the Royal Thai Air Force. Again, everything is crisply printed. No complaints there. No they give you a set of vinyl paint masks. Like I'll, I'll take that. There's a small sheet of photo etch. If I can get that where you can see it. There you go. Looks like it's mostly small stuff. But it's, again, it's, it's done well. And then lastly, they give you these 3D printed uh, panels. So you've got the instrument panels uh, 3D printed along with the seat belts, I'm assuming for the pilot and co-pilot. And that, that just looks good. And in 48th scale, that's going to be a real relief when you go to build it. So I'm impressed with that. And we've got the instructions. They're pretty clear. Everything's laid out for you. You've got color callouts. The color callouts are in uh, Mr. Hobby. Uh, you can pretty much translate them into any color from there. But the uh, they give you color callouts. The steps look uh, well illustrated. And then we've got they give you the markings for three different helicopters. This is the uh, the museum one that we were mentioned earlier at the Olympic Flight Museum in Washington. 
And then you've got a, an actual in-service helicopter from Germany, 1965. And then you've got a Royal Thai uh, helicopter from 2014, it's saying. Uh, 2014? They're still in business? Good for them. So, there we go. So there you have it, quick and dirty inbox. Uh, speaking of boxes, they give you the box folded up. You just put it together and you're good to go. I'm really looking forward to building this. Uh, I think it's gonna be a really cool kit. The Cayman Husky in 148 scale from AMP, uh, straight from Ukraine. So if you're inclined to buy one, I got mine from, it's called Plastic Model Store uh, dot UA, I believe. Uh, I'll put the link in the uh, in the description. So I got it from the time I ordered it to the time I received it in, in Texas. Uh, it was like two weeks. Couldn't ask for more. So uh, there you have it. Again, thanks guys for stopping in. Uh, thanks to my members again. I appreciate you guys 100%. And thank you for watching. Hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. We're just at the cusp of 1,900 subscribers. I, I couldn't be, you know, happier about it. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are, are, you know, knocking it out of the park for me, all right? So until the next time I see you, which will probably be for the next part of the Meteor build, take care, stay well, and I'll see you soon.